The bad news is Windows 10 didn't end up being the last version of Windows like we expected. But the good news is that its successor, Windows 11, has been getting updated with new features on the reg, and the newest batch is actually dropping right now. Microsoft is referring to this update as Moment 3, and we're gonna give you guys a rundown of the best features to look out for, because it's not always obvious what's been changed at first glance. Let's start off with Bluetooth Low Energy Audio Support, often referred to simply as Bluetooth LE. We actually did an entire video on this last year, but the summary is that Bluetooth LE supports not only higher audio quality than regular Bluetooth, but better range, lower latency for watching videos or for gaming, and lower battery consumption for both your computer and for your headphones. Though, keep in mind, you will need a pair of headphones that specifically supports Bluetooth LE. Now that we've talked about a feature for your ears, how about one for your eyes? Content Adaptive Brightness. This is a feature for laptops and other systems with built-in screens that can change your brightness on the fly depending on what you're looking at. So instead of having a jarring transition from a dark web page to a white one, ah! Windows will tweak the contrast and brightness to reduce the strain on your eyes and to improve battery life. You can toggle it on or off right here. So if you're doing color work where accuracy is critical or if you just don't like the effect, you don't have to use it. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be available for standard desktops with external monitors at this time, but you never know what the future might hold. Maybe we'll see monitors with ambient light sensors built into them. Here's another common annoyance that Windows 11 now has a far less controversial answer to, and we'll tell you about it right after we thank Circuit Specialists for sponsoring this video. Are you looking for electronic components and equipment? Circuit Specialists provides tools and supplies to the STEM community at competitive prices. Explore their wide range of offerings, including resistors, capacitors, soldering stations, oscilloscopes, and more. Leveraging their technology and sourcing expertise, their goal is to give customers access to tools and parts that may otherwise be unavailable or too expensive. Their commitment to quality ensures that you receive reliable and high-performance products suited for your needs. Let circuit specialists help you upgrade your electronic toolkit. Check them out at the link below and use code LMG for 10% off. Although it's very important for your own security to enable two-factor authentication on your accounts, typing in those codes can admittedly be a chore when you're having to switch between windows or apps to fetch the correct string of numbers. Well, Moment 3 tries to make this process a bit easier by now giving you a one-click option to copy the 2FA code through the phone link app. So if you get a code through SMS, you'll get a notification on the corner of your desktop with an option to copy. Oh, and this will work with the Windows Mail app, if you are one of the people who uses that. Hi, you. And there are other improvements to help you get more information at a glance. If you like to use a VPN, you can verify that you are indeed connected to one by looking at that Wi-Fi or Ethernet icon down in the notification area. A connection using a VPN will now have a little shield on that icon, which is useful if you're doing something <clears throat> sensitive. Um, and then just a few pixels away, you can now set your clock to display individual seconds without a registry hack, which was previously the easiest way to do that. Though Windows has made a point to include a disclaimer that, oddly, this apparently uses additional power. So be wary of this setting if you're using a laptop running on battery. And for those of you who use widgets to quickly get news and the like, you'll now have three columns at your disposal instead of the previous two. We truly live in an age of wonders. To alleviate another frustration, Microsoft has tweaked the underlying code to improve performance in search results within the settings app. Personally, it's the start menu search that really grinds my gears, but sure baby steps. Uh, Microsoft has also improved responsiveness throughout the UI, which is appreciated. But hey, let us know down in the comments if you can tell a difference. I didn't especially see one. And maybe let us know if there are any Moment 3 updates that we didn't mention that you are excited about. Also let us know if you have a suggestion for a future video, and of course you can leave a like or a dislike depending how you felt about this one. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe.